Hello everyone and welcome to this 25-minute vinyasa flow practice set in beautiful Anderson Lake, British Columbia. We'll begin in a comfortable seated position with the palms facing up on the mat or in hero's pose with the heels underneath your sit bones, maybe bringing the hands to heart center. Find your seated position, rolling the shoulders down and back and closing off the eyes. Breathe deeply here, connecting to this present moment. Feeling all of the parts of your body that are making contact with the mat and with the earth beneath it. Pay attention to your mind, letting go of any stray thoughts and allowing yourself to drop in to the here and now. Inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Again, inhale, reaching up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale to reach. Exhale, hands through heart center. This time, inhale, reach the arms up, twist over to your left side, reaching over to the left, maybe gazing over the left shoulder and using that right palm on your knee with leverage. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, take that twist over to the right, maybe grabbing onto that right knee and using some leverage here As you twist to the right, inhale to center, exhale cactus, the arms open the heart, place the palms down, shifting the hips underneath you as we come into tabletop position, hips over the knees, drop the belly, lift the chest for cow, round the spine, pressing through the shoulders for cat. Again, inhale, open through the collarbones, gazing up. Exhale to round, tucking the chin, pressing the ground away from you. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round and press. Inhale, open, swarming up the spine. Exhale, round. Inhale, find your center, lifting the left leg back and outstretching it long. Inhale, reach the right fingertips forward, bird dog. Engaging through the core, through the navel, lengthening through your spine. Go ahead and plant the right palm, switching sides. This time the right leg reaches back, left arm reaches forward, extending, reaching, lengthening through the spine, exhale to bring them back down, coming back into the other side, left leg reaches back, right arm forward, crunch it in, inhale to lengthen, exhale crunch, inhale lengthen, exhale crunch. Inhale, lengthen. This time, bringing those arm and leg out to the side, then back to center. So they reach out and come back into center. Reach out to the side, back into center with control. Exhale to plant the palms, switching sides right away. So the right leg's back, left arm forward. Exhale to crunch, knee into the elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch, really contracting at the bottom and reaching your fingertips and toes in opposite directions. Here, bringing the left arm and right leg out to the side. Exhale to bring them back together. Inhale out to the side. Exhale back together. Planting down, coming back to our tabletop position here. Hinge the hips forward, lowering the chest all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, baby cobra, gazing forward, tucking the elbows in, maybe lifting the hands off of the mat. 
Go ahead and plant the hands, bringing the forehead down. Once more, inhale, lift. Maybe bring those arms up into a cactus position. Engaging the back, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Plant the palms, pressing yourself back up through plank into our first downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet. Finding any organic movements that feel good to you here. Warming up the hamstrings and the back of the legs, the calves. Inhale, left leg reaches up, tripod dog. Opening through that hip and kicking it up so that toe comes down. We kick up and bring it back down. Switching over to the right side. Reach the right toes to the sky, tripod dog. Find your position here first. Rolling the shoulder blades back and down, then kicking up that leg high, then bringing it back down to touch the mat. Lifting it up and bringing it back down. Downward facing dog, roll forward into our plank position. Inhale, exhale to lower knees, chest, chin down to the mat. Maybe coming into uh, chaturanga or our baby cobra. Whatever feels right to you. Finding your vinyasa today. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, the left toes reach to the sky. Exhale, knee to the left tricep. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knee to the center of the mat, planting the left foot. Inhale, arms come overhead, crescent lunge. Lowering down into your crescent lunge. Breathing here, checking that that left knee is tracking directly over your ankle. Exhale, hands to heart center. Begin to twist over to the left side, maybe extending the arms out into a T, gazing over that left shoulder. Stay here or come into Exalted Warrior, reaching that right arm up, coming back through our revolve lunge, right hand plants down, left fingertips to the sky, sweep the palm to the inside of the left foot, coming into Lizard, opening through the left hip, sinking down into the hips as much as you can. Maybe coming down onto the forearms, if that feels comfortable for you. Breathing in. And exhale to sink deeper into the posture. Inhale, walk the hands back up. Staying here or option to bend that back leg. Grabbing on to the right foot for a deep quad stretch. Sweep the palm back to the inside of the leg, bringing the left knee to meet the right and walking the fingertips forward for an active puppy pose. So fingertips are active, pressing into the mat. You can bring your forehead down to the mat or hover it above, engaging that core for a slightly more active variation of puppy pose. Notice what feels good for you and your body today. This is your practice. Inhale, walk the hands back to tabletop, tucking the toes under and hovering the knees just an inch or two off of the mat for bear dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Finding your downward facing dog again. Inhale. Left leg rises, or sorry, right leg rises, bringing the knee in towards the right tricep. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, knee plants in between the palms, rising up for our right side crescent lunge. Bending through that right knee and extending through the left. Find your center here. 
maybe gazing up to the palms. Exhale, palms through heart center, twist over to the right, staying here or extending the arms out into a T. If you're here, you can stay here or come into Exalted Warrior, placing the right palm on the left thigh and reaching left fingertips up to the sky, opening through the chest and keeping the bend in that right knee, coming back into our T, plant the left palm, reaching right fingertips up for revolves, lunge. Exhale, sweep the right palm to meet the left, coming into lizard position, dropping the left knee, untuck left toes, open through the chest, open through that right hip, option to come down onto the forearms here if that feels good for your body today. No matter where you are, breathing, coming back up and staying here or bending into that left knee this time, reaching around with your right hand to grab the left knee and open through the hips, stretching the left quad. Open the chest and exhale, sweep the right palm to meet the left, tuck the back toes, sweep the right foot to meet the left back in our tabletop position. Tuck the toes and hover the knees once more in our bear position. Engage through the core, really tucking your belly in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job. Inhale, roll forward into our plank position. Exhale, finding your variation so coming down maybe to baby cobra or chaturanga and then lowering all the way down, coming up on an inhale into our lotus position. Arms are outstretched along your sides, legs are hip width distance, exhale to lower. Inhale, lift into lotus, finding a little height, exhale to lower. Plant the palms by the sides. Pressing up into your baby cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog once more. Come high up onto the toes. Exhale, sink the hips towards the heels. Walk, step, or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the weight into the balls of your feet. Maybe shaking side to side. And grab opposite elbows here. Shake the head yes, or nod the head no. And inhale to slowly roll up, mountain pose. Reach the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, baby back bend, reaching behind you. Inhale to center. Exhale, sweeping the palms down, finding our center. Plant the right foot, bringing the left knee into the chest and extending that left foot long, then kicking it behind you, finding warrior three or airplane, reaching those palms back, really flexing through your left foot, finding your balance with the gaze point ahead of you. Hold your warrior three pose. Exhale to lower that left foot, reaching up into a crescent lunge, right foot forward, palms to center, twist to the side, bring your left elbow to your right knee, extending the arms into a side twisted lunge. Then, bringing your left foot to meet your right, coming into a twisted chair pose. Inhale, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Tuck the tailbone, engage through the core, reach the fingers up. Inhale to center, mountain pose, reaching the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands come to heart center.
finding your center, finding your breath. Inhale the right leg forward, kicking it out long and sweeping it back, hinging at the hips, coming into our warrior three pose. It's okay if you wobble here, just finding your center, finding yourself in that pose once more. Flexing through that right foot. One more breath in and exhale to plant down the right foot, coming into a lunge, sweeping the arms overhead. First, find your center here. Exhale, palms to heart center, twist to the left. Hooking the right elbow onto the left knee. Maybe reaching your arms out into a T. Exhale to step your right leg to meet your left twisted chair pose. Inhale, chair pose. Tucking the tailbone under, sitting back. Inhale, extended mountain. Exhale to baby back bend. Lean back, inhale, center, exhale, cactus, the arms open the heart, inhale to center, exhale, forward fold and release, or bending our knees, releasing the arms with energy, inhale, and exhale, open the mouth, sigh, out, inhale, reach, exhale, slowly lower down to seated, Bringing the knees out in front of you. Arms outstretched. Engage the core, coming into boat pose. So bring the legs up, either knees bent or legs straight. An option to bring your arms overhead. Engaging through the core, really thinking about lengthening your spine. Finding the variation that works for you here. Exhale to slowly lower down, hovering in low boat. Inhale, high boat. Great job. Plant the feet lower down all the way onto the mat, keeping the knees bent. Inhale, coming into bridge pose, rolling one vertebrae up at a time, squeezing the thighs together, maybe rolling the shoulder blades underneath the back and interlacing the palms. Option to come high up onto the toes here for an added challenge for your calves. Relax the neck, lower the vertebrae one at a time. Windshield wipering the knees to release any tension in the spine. Bring the left leg and the right leg up above you into your waterfall pose both arms reach up option to stay here or come into shoulder stand bringing the knees towards your chest supporting your low back with your palms and then bringing the legs overhead Stacking the hips over the shoulders, toes over the hips. And keeping your neck in one long line here. Option to bring one leg and the other down. Or come into your plow pose. Wherever you are, slowly lowering down out of your inversion. And lengthening the legs long on the mat. Then pulling in the left knee, right leg extends. Give that left leg a hug. And bring the left sole of the foot to the right knee, flexing through both feet and coming into our reclined pigeon. Interlace the palms behind the right knee, pulling the legs in towards you. Breathing here.
opening up into that left hip. Exhale to lower the foot down and lift into a single leg bridge. So we're still in that uh, reclined pigeon position. Exhale, lower down. Bringing both legs extended. Opposite knee hugs into the chest. So the right knee is hugging in. Rock it side to side gently. Then bring the right sole of the foot to the left knee, flexing through both feet, interlacing the palms behind the right uh, left knee. <laughs> hugging in and breathing here. Opening into the right hip. Saying thank you to your body for this practice today. As you exhale, keep that same position with your legs, lifting the hips for a single leg glute bridge, a little bit more glute activation. Exhale, lower the knees down, extend both legs long, extend the arms out to the side, coming into Shavasana, our final resting pose. In your Sarvasana today, breathe, allowing yourself to sink into the ground, into the earth that's supporting you, holding you, cradling you, allowing yourself to sink deeper and deeper, relaxing all of your muscles, Relaxing your jaw, your facial muscles, your eyes, even your tongue. Allowing it all to feel heavy. Allowing yourself to become one with all that is around you. Slowly begin to wiggle the fingers and toes, roll out the wrists and ankles, and bring awareness to your body. When you're ready, hugging the knees into the chest, giving yourself a little bit of a rock side to side, and then coming over into a fetal position on whatever side is calling you today. Placing the forehead on the mat, say a silent prayer to the earth for comforting you, for nurturing you, and for offering you this amazing life. Pressing yourself up into a comfortable seated position with the eyes closed, bring the palms to heart center. The love, light, and joy in me honors, cherishes, and appreciates the love, light, and joy in all of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this 25-minute vinyasa practice this morning. Hope that this has helped you and that you can carry this yoga practice and all of the benefits into your day. Namaste.